And welcome back to another video of Fake Grand Order. Yes, I know. It's weird to see me upload so many things on one subject. But, uh, oh, god damn it. I just realized that my little sibling decided to put my Switch in upside down. And hopefully I can get this... Like this? Yes! Okay, never mind. Huh. Anyways, so I just learned that the third year anniversary for Fake Grand Order is coming up soon. So I, I kind of want to get through the tutorial at least so that I can, like, just like with Persona 5 Royal. For those of you that were there at the uh, live stream, or have watched the live stream. <laughs> oh, maybe y'all can hear me a bit. Maybe y'all can hear me now. Hi. Uh, welcome back to Fake Grand Order. Uh, I know it's really weird to see me do so many videos on one thing. I just realized, well, I, I just heard, uh, I was on YouTube and I was watching some videos thinking that I was going to be done for the night, but then I saw that the third year anniversary was coming up and I'm like, oh shit, I, I gotta get this stuff out, <laughs> like, I, I gotta get Fuyuki out of the way so that I can... <laughs> So, so that I can, like, get the stuff, you, you know? And so, for the next, over the course of the next, uh, I want to say, few days or so, I believe I'm going to be doing just fake Grand Order content. And I've said this before in the Discords, uh... I honestly think that Duel Links is a game that would be better off being streamed on instead of being made a video a day like a video to video type thing. I mean yeah sure leaks and stuff are cool and all but like I feel like it's more of a live stream game if you're gonna make content on it. So there's that. This is something where I can kind of sit down and make a video on and this, that, and the other. Anyways, this is literally not long after I just had the most godly fucking luck. Like, again, I don't know if you guys realize just how low probability that was. For those of you that do understand that as I record this, from at the point in time of this recording, everything is live on air. No, know what I'm saying? It, there's no two ways about it. Uh, in any case, there's a lot of stuff happening. Lots of free goodies to get. This, that, and the other. And honestly, I kind of want you guys to be with me on this journey in Fate Grand Order through time, space, TNA, and all this other good stuff. So that we can, like, so that we can get through it and, you know, get, get a nice little community thing going. And... Just kind of sit here and talk. And while I am talking, we're going to go ahead. Okay, ooh. That's right, we can select somebody else's servant to come with us. And I usually... Ooh, Ishtar? The Rin face? Oh, no. We, we got to go with Archer of Inferno. Because, honestly, I love the art for Archer of Inferno. 
I I really do. Her art's so nice. Investigate the bridge. <clears throat> Stop. Before we start exploring the city, not life YT, isn't there something you want to say to me? Uh, yeah, nothing in particular. You're not very smart, are you? Remember what happened in the command room? You're not about to make me apologize. You are not about to do that. Senpai, it's probably about when you doze off in the command room. You are not about to make me apologize. It'll come back to you if you focus. That was, you know. We made it in time. Senpai, your number is a single digit in the front row. Please take any available seat in the front row. Right in front of the director. What a bad luck. Uh, let's cut the chit chat. It's about to start. Not quite on time, but it looks like everyone's here. Welcome to Special Organization Chaldea. I'm the director, Olga Mary Animusphere. You have been selected or discovered from each nation for your rare talents. Oh, okay. So our character is also American. So we're in unfamiliar grounds, too. That's wonderful. By talent, I mean your aptitude for spiritrons. People with magical circuits capable of becoming masters. I'm sure you can't even imagine it. But be sure to keep this in mind. You are about to be reborn as cutting-edge mages in an unprecedented fusion of magecraft and science. That said, although all of you possess special talents, none of you are special. Understand that you're all inexperienced rookies standing at the same starting point. I mean, I, I, I don't even know what the fuck's going on <laughs> at this point in time. <clears throat> In particular, the mages sent from the association still seem to be acting like students. Fix that immediately. Chaldea is my domain. Family heritage and personal achievements have no meaning here. Ooh! Hit him with that hard work, Mary! Always remember that my orders are absolute. My position is completely different from yours. I won't allow arguments. You're all mere tools to protect humanity. Nothing more. Damn. What's that commotion? Didn't I just tell you that I wouldn't allow any arguments? You there, the one who came in late. Do you have a problem with what I just said? Uh, <laughs> uh am I seeing this right? Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me? Sleeping while standing. No way, right? Not in a million years. Hey, I didn't sign up for this. We're experts who are summoned here because of our skills. We came all this way on your insistence. Absolute obedience? That's ridiculous. She's right. You're way overstepping. Honestly? If, if this is her, if this is her, like, if this is her workplace, she owns the place, she runs the place, she is known as the director, yes, this, like, what's going on here is not with, not overstepping. <laughs> Lineage is the most important asset for a mage, how can you brush it off? Maybe I should... Maybe this guy should meet Emiya. <laughs> Quiet! No talking! That's why I say you're still acting like students. I'm only telling you what's going on right now. If you don't like it, leave Chaldea at once. Not that there are flights to send you home. Ooh. She hit him with... You guys have no other option. Though if you're ready to trek down a snowy mountain 6,000 meters above sea level, that would be commendable. 
again hitting them with you guys have no other option very good nobody's dropped out seriously don't make me waste my time on such matters I wish you'd realize that's how dire our no humanity's situation is now look she is a good example no argument no opinion good and obedient now now then back to talk are you listening today is I knock the fuck out do you remember now senpai vaguely I guess remembered you weren't really listening after all were you honestly sit yourself down how could you come to a singularity not knowing the situation or your mission? Uh, <laughs> because somehow I was fucking so tired after that simulated battle that I just knocked the fuck out. I'm going to have to explain it to you again. Listen up, we at Chaldea... Oh... Director, leave that for later. Enemies are incoming. Let's go, Mash. Hey, come back here. Listen to what I have to say. Please tell me she can at least defend herself. Please. <laughs> I, I, I can't remember if she survives this or not. It's been so long since I started. Because I started... Whenever I personally started... Like, when, when I personally first started, uh, it was right around the, it was literally when the, uh, excuse me, it was right at the time of the first ever start for North America for the Artemis event. Where and her banner came when her banner first came, and at the time I really and I mean I really 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 wanted Artemis, but like I was impatient to get Saint Quartz and I wasn't willing to spend money, man, because I had no money to spend, so. So it was like, well, I'm just not gonna play. And in the end, she's. <laughs> Hold on, let me. There. I, I think that'll be better. Because sound effects are like blasting in my ears. Like. Like, look at this animation for Archer of Inferno. The Noble Phantasm is even better. But, like, again, like, because I pretty much was off of FGO at the time, and I casually went through the story and whatnot to get uh, St. Quartz and a bunch of other stuff, um, I never got Artemis. And it saddens me to this day. Because I still really want her. Like, out of all the archers that I could ever want. If I could choose one archer to have pulled on my first go. It would definitely be um, Artemis. Because to me, Artemis is like... Artemis is... Oh god. Like... Yeah, friend codes, following, get friend points for friend summons and yada yada yada. Uh, let's send friend request. And that be the end of it. 
But yeah, that's whenever I first started. And that was like, I believe year two of FGO. <clears throat> Phew, good work, Mash Carolite. Now I can pick off. Bleh. Now I can pick up where I left off. Resume. You mean there's more, Director? Why, certainly. Not Life YT. Don't tell me you forgot already. I'm only halfway through. In fact, it's the latter half that's important. Make yourself remember. Make yourself remember. I guess I have no choice. Now, now, don't be a little like that. Director's ramblings can be useful in Nightlife YT. Why were you Master Candidate summoned to Chaldea? This will explain that. Listen up. Today of all days, we at Chaldea will achieve something that will be written in history. The science of learning. The invention of religion. The acquisition of navigation. The focus of communication. The voyage into space. Our legacy will be on par with the pioneers of the stars. No, it will surpass them. Hit them with that. Hit them with that speech, Mary. Rather than expanding civilization, we will be the hands of God protecting it. Stabilizing human history, we will transform the future into a solid resolution. The principles of mankind. In other words, to ensure the continuation of humanity. That is Chaldea's and now your only and absolute purpose. Chaldea has achieved many results to date. The development of Observation Cyber Damon Laplace. The global environment model Chaldea's. Completion of the near future observation lens Sheba. The heroic, summon, bleh, the heroic Spirit Summoning System, Fate, and the launch of the Spiriton Calculation Engine, I think I'm going to butcher this, uh, Trismegistus. Somebody in the comments below tell me if I got that right or not. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> with these technologies, we at Chaldea have observed humanity's progress 100 years into the future. Excuse me, that's actually huge. <laughs> we do not predict the future, but observe it. Like many who observed social bodies, Chaldea has been observing the future. Whatever it sees, our job has been to ensure that humanity will survive 100 years into the future. Look up. That is Chaldea's proudest achievement. Created with advanced magical theories, the global environmental model, our Chaldeas. Planets have been defined as being with souls. We copied them into this miniature Earth. Because of the difference in scale, we are unable to read each single human mind. But whatever's on the surface, the city's lights that can be seen on land can be observed through Sheba. Currently, it's been set to reflect Earth 100 years from now. Chaldeus may very well be the future of Earth itself. As the light of civilization shines within Chaldeus, we can guarantee humans will exist a century further. As long as there's light, people will live in cities and serve as proof of civilization's survival. But... Lev, could you normalize Sheba's polarization angle? This is the current state. Starting six months ago, Chaldea has changed color and it's become difficult to observe the future. The light of civilization, our beacon till now, has become largely unobservable to us. Well, well, shit. <laughs> the right response. Good to see you've got some sense. That's right. The lack of light means that civilization has become extinct. This was considered highly classified, but you have the right to know. 
Our observations indicate that the light of humanity is only visible up to the year 2018. In other words, we've observed no proof that humanity will become extinct in that year. Obviously, this future is not possible. It cannot happen, and physically speaking, is impossible. There's neither an economic collapse or some sudden seismic event. We can't explain how humanity would suddenly just disappear. Over the past six months, we've found the cause of this strange phenomenon, the disappearance of the future. If the reason is not in the present, then it is in the past. Using Laplace and the Trismegistus, we reviewed all the data for the past 2,000 years. We tried to find something that didn't exist in history or was on Earth until this point in time. As a result, we finally found something new. It's this. Spiritual Singularity F, a city in the Japanese countryside in 2004. We discovered an unobservable zone that did not exist in history up to the year 2017. Chaldea hypothesizes that this is the cause for humanity's extinction. We proposed the ray shift experiment to the UN and received approval. The ray shift process transforms a human into spiritons, sending them into the past and allowing them to alter it. Simply put, it's time travel, but not everyone can do it. Only people with exceptional magical circuits and the ability to become a master can be transformed. Now, I'm sure that cleared things up. Your task is the investigation of Singularity F. You'll travel 14 years into the past, find Singularity F, and destroy it. We are now entering unknown territory. There's no telling what you might find there. But you've been selected from among people all over the world. You can do this, and we have high expectations for you. The Hyrats want to know the cause of this immediately. We don't have time to waste. We will be performing the first ray shift experiment in an hour. I'm sure you've all had enough training. For the first experiment, we'll send Team A the top 8 scorers to Singularity F. I haven't told the later groups, but their master candidates who have been chosen from Chaldea. Team A has been active for a month now. You can call them trained warriors. Team A will go on ahead and establish a base camp at Singularity F, guaranteeing your safety. Teams B and below will monitor their situation and prepare for the next experiment. Let's register your information with the Klein Coffins, the arcs that will send you to the past of Spiritrons. There's one for each person and there are no spares. Be very careful with them. Teams B through D will be on standby in case of trouble with Team A. What are you doing? I told you what you have to do. You were brought here as a potential master. You're practically a soldier now. You will obey orders and be ready for a fight. Do not make me repeat myself. Do you have more questions? Hey, you, the one who was late. Ah, shit, that's us. Shit, shit, shit. You look confused. I'll give you the chance to ask one question. Is it safe to change the past? Does the word singularity mean nothing to you? The singularity we found doesn't exist in any of our observation records. It's like a hole that just appeared out of nowhere. The hole itself is, from, is cut off from the proper temporal axis. The 2004 singularity exists apart from the past and future. There's no need to connect it to our present. It's more stable than a regular time travel, and whatever happens, the timeline can repair itself. Singularity F is like a tiny stain on the dress that is human history. Damn. It ruins beauty just by its presence. Your job is to extract it. That's what will return humanity to its proper observed course of history. What is... 
that such is in thinking suddenly means someone who doesn't know basic space-time theory. <laughs> oh no. You think that, oh my god, no, time travel 101. If you alter the past in any way, shape, or form, the future changes irrevocably. Essentially, if you alter, like, say, let's put it like this. Let's say you went back to 1776, the day, the, the day the American independence, wait, the day the independence was signed, American independence was signed, and instead of and you were just doing your thing like kind of like just being just kind of standing there or something excuse me but well, let's say you went back to the year 1776 the day the declaration was Declaration of Independence. There we go. Excuse me. And you went to go look at the original paper. Well, you being in the same room would mean they would ask you for your signature. And you could choose to not put your name there. And like you just being in the room would change it already. But if you went ahead and signed your name onto that paper, you would be forever altering the course of history. You would be forever altering the course of history, initiating you as one of the founding fathers. It, it's like... Basically, if you do time travel... And you do something in the past, like say you prevent your mom from meeting your dad and having you. You then will have created a present where you never existed. You are literally an anomaly in that time frame. I told them this plan was a grand order, the highest possible duty in the world of magecraft. Well, it doesn't matter. What team are you with? Show me your ID. What? You're in the wrong spot. A civilian and with no combat training or experience? Chalde is much too important to be wasting valuable swats on people like you. What the fuck, Mary? Leb. Let alone you. I'm right here, Director. Why the yell instead of a problem? There's problems everywhere. Just get this amateur out of my sight. Damn. Y you know what? At least I can fight. <laughs> oh, so that's it? Director, she's a chosen master candidate. Sure, they lack experience, but it's inappropriate to be that rude. Having an inexperienced amateur here is a problem. What if something happens to my Chaldeus? Let Romany handle this. At least get some basic training in. Hmm, I don't think she likes you. Alright, orders are orders. Bash, show that life YT their room. Alright, understood. I just need to take some pipe to their room, right? Yes, thanks. I'm busy with the ray shift experiment and can't. Don't worry, this experiment will be over in two hours. I'll drop by your room then. Uh, I don't really like you too much. That's unusually kind of you, Dr. Lev. Do you know each other from somewhere? I highly doubt it. Not at all. I was just thinking that things like eternal arrivals and faded encounters are very important. 
Whoa, 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 hold up. That means he's going to be an enemy at some point. That absolutely means he's going to be an enemy at some point. What the hell? Come this way, I'll show you to your room. And that's how you were removed from the command room, remember? Got it, got it, yeah, sure. You little, you look quiet, but you've got some nerve, don't you? Anyway, do you finally remember how much of a mess you made at that critical moment? Excuse me? Um, Director Mary? I think that's going a little too far. Yeah, that's actually going really far. What the hell? Like hell it is. Thanks to the time I wasted on your question, I didn't have time to change. What does that matter? Uh, you weren't planning to die, so I'm not sure you needed your suit. I did. I most certainly did. I had a special mystic code made for this mission. Jeez, I didn't even get to wear it once. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, you understand your responsibilities and duties as a master candidate now, right? Very well, now, Life YT. I'm ordering you to be my bodyguard. Work hard. Are you trying to be someone you're not? This is who I am. I was just in a hurry back there. Once we get back to Chaldea, you're in for it. Good to see you two getting along. Let's move before more enemies show up. Uh, okay, or is, is that done? Please? What? I... Okay. Well, we're... How long has this recording been going? 31 minutes, of course, of course. Yeah, 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 I, I know how to do this. First, we select Mary. We do this, we do this, and now she becomes level 12. Very nice. Now, what I was going to say in my last video, right, what, what I was going to say for my last video was that I actually have... Um, <laughs> I, I actually have, um, Shevler Dayon on my phone, so this actually works out perfectly. Because in, by in story at some point. Chapter 2 pre-release. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Oh, I can finally accept all these. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's accept all of these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Receive all blaze of wisdom, tons of golden a hey nice. So let's count these Saint Courts real quick. Two, fifteen, seventeen, twenty-seven. Nice. We almost have enough for another thirty summon, right? Right. Uh, okay, thank you. Oh, actually, we're one away. Awesome, awesome. We're gonna do one more arrow, and and then we're gonna be done with the story. Oh, Miyamoto Musashi. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. All right, we're actually going to change you out for Mary. And then we're going to put... Oh, wait, I just realized that I only have writers and assassins. Oh, joy. This is so good for me. Yikes. Oh, wait, never mind. We, we can't.
there. Yep. All right, here we go. <clears throat> By the way, the type of being we call servants, you know what they are, don't you? I do have some basic knowledge. Glad to hear it. Now I won't have to explain rudimentary things like what a heroic spirit is. Servants are heroes of the past made into familiars. Those who enter into contract with them and use them are masters. There are seven classes of servants which vary depending on a servant's legend and abilities. It's incredibly difficult to copy a heroic spirit entirely. Human mages do not have enough resources or memory to achieve such a feat. That's why only one aspect of a heroic spirit is fixed in our world, resulting in the seven classes. Saber, Lancer, Archer, Rider, Caster, Berserker, Assassin. Every heroic spirit will manifest as one of these classes. That's the true nature of servants. It's also a way to hide their true names as well. They hide their names because they are famous. Take Achilles from Greek mythology. Achilles is an invincible heroic spirit, but his weakness is extremely famous, right? When a heroic spirit returns, their weaknesses returns with them. That's why servants hide their names behind their class names. If you don't know their identity, it's harder to figure out their past or weaknesses, right? That's not all. There's another reason for hiding one's true name. A servant has a secret weapon worthy of their legend, the crystallization of that heroic spirit's miracle in existence. <sighs> Director, sorry to interrupt you while you're having fun, but we've detected hostiles entering combat. <laughs> well, take them out right now. Uh, I'll be hiding over here. <laughs> okay, she, I, I think she's starting to warm up to us. Man, I can't wait. Ooh. Like, this is my first time using it. Seeing Mary Antoinette. So, like, I'm very curious to see what her moves, like, what her moveset is. Oh yeah, have I mentioned yet? In the three episodes that I've made, I must have mentioned by now that this is normal. That this is the fast speed. Oh no, not. It's still on the uh, slow speed. I was wondering why. Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, bop, bop, bop. Watch. There we go. Normal speed. There it is. Now we'll be able to get through battles and other things a little bit faster. Hallelujah, praise Jesus, am I right? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, well. Another one that, I, one that I really wanted to grab was this one right here. Musashi. Like, oh. you, you know, I'm actually thinking of trying to make a little opening using, um, uh, actually, let's do bop, bop, bop. Like, using a song called, um, Over Quartzer. From um, Kamen Rider Zio. And it's really because um, that show has, like, it deals with time travel as well. And the song literally has lyrics that go slip through time and space or, like, 
and stuff like that. Hmm. Let's do this. All right. And now we get more story to read. <laughs> Or not. Nice. Alright. So that is going to be the video. Tomorrow whenever I get off work. It's probably going to be back to making videos on this. And possibly looking for footage for a possible opening for myself. I don't know. We shall see in the next arc. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you watching. And remember, to simp for actually good content. That's all I have to say.